Section 16, traffic lights. Okay, this uh, doesn't apply in, in small communities and there is some still small towns in Australia where you don't have traffic lights. But pretty straightforward. Traffic lights, as I said before, and major intersections with traffic lights are where um, more than, if you've got more than one car, multiple car crashes happen. That's where they happen at intersections where traffic lights are. Stops in wrong position. Obviously, that's common sense. You stop behind the white line. You don't stop over a crosswalk. If there's a crosswalk and you're turning left at a traffic light, you don't park on the crosswalk. Know your road rules on that one. Uh, stops when not necessary. That's a dangerous thing to do, a stupid thing to do. If you're not familiar with the roads, don't impede traffic flow. Don't do something that's unpredictable because people can't predict what you're doing. They're assuming you're going to keep driving, so they'll run straight up your ass. Uh, the next one starts before signal turns green. Oh, yeah, there's people that do that. They're pretty clever. It's called, um, there was a name for it here. It used to happen a lot in Tassie, in Launceston, when I first came in nearly 20 years ago, that people would start rocking and moving forward, moving forward, moving forward before the lights turn green, um, anticipating that the lights are going to change. You don't do that. You don't cross the bloody white line till they do turn green. Um, that's illegal and you'll get caught doing it. You'll get, you'll get in big trouble. So that's pretty obvious. Again, this is fairly is related a bit. Proceeds on amber when could have stopped safely. Unless you're driving a truck, and a lot of truck drivers understand this, you, you can't stop in a truck. If it goes amber, you've just got to keep going most of the time. Uh, within reason, of course. You've got a 60 tonne on board, you can't bloody stop. But of course, you've got a plan to work your lights as well. And that's always not easy in a truck, and especially in a road train or B-double. But, and I teach that as well. Proceeds on amber when could have stopped safely. Don't rush the lights, because if you start doing that, um, understanding, if you understand traffic law and um, how they uh, how they do lights and all that, the engineering, you'll understand the next set of lights is going to be amber as well, and the next one's amber as well, so it'll get to the point where you've got to stop anyway, usually, um, but not always, but quite often that happens. Um, so don't go on amber you, um, when you could stop safely. On the same token, don't hit the brakes when there's a truck up your ass, you've got to keep going. So you think about that as well, think about that one. Proceeds on red signal, that's just stupidity, you don't do that, self-explanatory. Uh, fails to notice lights. This does happen. Some people are uh, fatigued or too much ice or bloody marijuana, whatever they do. Um, they don't notice the lights. Or they're, they're mainly sleepy or tired. They're just driving along. Lights, they just don't notice them. They'll go sailing through. That's why roundabouts are great, because they force you to make decisions. Lights don't. You just casually drive through them. And you think, gee, I don't even remember going through that intersection. That's why lights are not always good things to have. Crosses continuous white line. I did mention that before. If you stop at the lights, you don't go over that solid white line. You wait behind it. Um, yeah, yeah that's, that's quite simple. But make sure you don't... The biggest thing here about traffic lights is be aware of them. Uh, lots of crashes happen at lights. Be aware of other people doing the wrong thing as well. That's very important. <laughs>